this video is a beginning of a new summer series that I'm starting and I'm calling it Sweet Summer Treats. This video in particular I'll show you how I made some faux milkshakes, some whip topping that could also be used as mug toppers, and I'm making an ice cream shop sign. So stick around and watch me DIY. You don't really need a special glass for milkshakes. You could even use one out of your own cupboard. But I picked up these at Dollar Tree. They look more like parfait glasses with the handle on there, but they work great for this DIY for me. You'll see on the left there, I've done some swatches of color on the inside of the glasses to see what paints I want to use for a chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry color. I cleaned up the inside of the mug before I started just with a bit of alcohol on a paper towel. Now for the vanilla color, I'm starting this out with half sun-kissed peach and half white. You'll see once it's painted and dried, it's a perfect vanilla color. So what I'm doing here is just pouring a bit of that down into the glass and I'm going to take my paintbrush and pull the paint up on the sides. Try to get the coat of paint as even as possible. It's just as easy as that. The color that I'm using for strawberry is Baby Pink Folk Art Paint. This is the Superior Coverage Paint, and let me tell you, this works just about as well, if not as well, as chalk paint. I was really impressed with the coverage with this. And same thing, I'm just pulling it up the sides. I actually put too much into this glass, so you'll see me here dipping it out. Not just because I'm stingy with my crafting money, but because you don't want runs going down the inside of those glasses. For the chocolate color, I'm using one half nutmeg brown and one half white. It makes a beautiful, perfect chocolate milkshake color or chocolate ice cream color. But I made an oopsie by thinking I could mix the colors in the glass with my paintbrush and then pull it up the sides. It didn't quite get mixed well enough. And then, well, you'll see in a moment, I had some odd streaks going through there. See the different shades of that color? I mean, I'm not hating it. It almost looks like it had maybe some chocolate syrup it mixed with in the bottom. Anyway, here they are all dried. They did need a second coat on some areas because they were streaky. I don't know how much you'll be able to see through these once they're sitting on a shelf, but I just went ahead and made a second coat on those. Here they are all dry with the second coat. Colors turned out fantastic. Now you could stop here if you wanted to for the milkshake, but I'm going to be adding whipped topping on the tops of these, and that's coming up as DIY number two. You'll need a base for your whipped topping, and I'm going to be using some ribbon spools from Dollar Tree. These are the ones that had the velvet ribbon on them. And I'm just cutting it down to size. What it's going to give me is, well, I don't have to glue it down. So I can reuse it on other things. And a little bit of that spool left on the round paper will keep it from sliding around or sliding off. Of course, I needed to make three of those, so I got another spool, took those round circles off of it, and I will put that spool away for a later project. And I cut that leftover spool from the first one down. I've got blue tape on it because I had some of the paper ripping when I pulled it off the spool, but yeah, here I am just gluing it on my finger, 
trying to glue it into the center. Now, for the whip topping, I'm using the lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree. And if you leave it as is, it looks kind of gray. So I'm adding in some white acrylic paint by Apple Barrel. And it's also going to give me a better consistency, too. I'll stir that up with one of these wooden kitchen utensils that I don't use in the kitchen anymore. And what you're looking for is a consistency that's um, not as thick as dough, but thicker than Cool Whip. I added in some cornstarch because I had mine thinned down too much. And so I'm going to stir that around, make sure I've got a good consistency. Then I'm going to add it into some bakery bags. I got my bags and the bakery tips at Dollar General. I'm just snipping off the end of that bag. And I don't I don't know what the tips called. These are all mixed up because I did a mug topper back in December or November and I didn't get them back where they were supposed to be. This is kind of a star design on the bottom. Looks like maybe maybe it's the ruffle tip. Anyway, I'm going to scoop all that cool whip pasty type stuff into the bag. And this does get messy. So if you're worried about messing up your manicure, I would put on rubber gloves. Now, I just put that spool top on top of a old candle holder from a failed project and just started going around the outside edges and then looped it around. I wasn't able to see the back side because I was sitting down, but I'm going to fix that at the back where a little bit of the red paper was showing. And I'm just going around and around till that ends up in the center. And then I'll do another layer on top of that, starting it a little bit further inward so it's building up. I'm not building up a super huge um, topping here. And there I'm just cutting some pieces of straw to put in so it looks like the straw is going all the way down into the milkshake. Had a little bit left over of that spackle mix, so I'm just going to put that into a bowl with a lid and set it aside. Now for the cherries on top, I got these berries back during Christmas at Dollar Tree. They're a little small for cherries, but they were the perfect color, so I just went with those. And I think they turned out really cute. Now that it's dry, I'm just going to drop it down into the top of that glass. And there you go. I thought that the two straws in each of the milkshake looked really cute. But full disclosure, after I finished the video, I decided to go back and just have one straw per milkshake. And that was just personal preference. Now for my third and final... DIY for this video. I'm going to be taking two of these patriotic signs from Dollar Tree and I'll remove the embellishments and the twine hangers and then I'm going to flip them over and actually be decorating the backs of these signs. Now I want to butt them up together to make an extra long sign but as you can see here the corners are rounded. So I'm going to use my square and make me a line to go by and I'll just cut off the very bottom of both of those tags. And here I'm using my little tabletop saw. Worked perfect for that. To join them together, I'm going to be using regular hot glue and some of the jumbo craft sticks from Dollar Tree. Not Dollar Tree. Walmart. These come from Walmart. And I put a couple of those pieces over the holes on each end also because I want this to be a solid sign 
there I'm just getting those evened out and then I'll start gluing down there now I'm going to fill up those holes with some lightweight speckle and I'm also going to be doing that seam down the center where I didn't get the tag signs cut perfectly straight that will camouflage that once it was dry I used my Dollar Tree sanding block and kind of smoothed out the speckled areas and then it was ready for paint well after I wipe it down with a paper towel I'm using apple barrel white and applying it with a sponge brush because I don't want brush strokes in here brush uh, what's it called brush lines brush strokes I did two coats of the white paint and then I made this decal on Canva cut it out with my Cricut and there's how it looks now everything I've got listed on there cones sundaes shakes and floats are what I'm going to be doing in this series and I may add a little bit more to that too we'll see but as it is right now I already have three more videos started making those other items I had initially thought I was going to outline or frame the sign with some type of molding and paint it black so it would look like a enamel sign but with all those different corners on there I figured out that'd just be way too much mitering and mathing for me so it's going to stay like that and I'm happy with that if you liked this video and you think you'd like to see more of my faux sweet summer treats be sure that you're subscribed and click the notification bell. That way you'll be sure not to miss when I upload again. Until next time, bye-bye.